Okay. We're Trox here from Rocket League Mods, so this is gonna be the next part. I have to recreate the map. So I'm gonna do that in Maya here. Um I'm gonna do it in the same method I used in the before but inside Maya instead. So let's scale it up to about ten. This won't be very big in UDK I don't think, but worth a shot. Okay, that's right on top. And I need to then grab the faces, delete the top ones, grab this, scale that up to ten. Move it up. There we go. Faces are all done. Now I'm going to merge these edges. There we go. Alright, so I've just merged these two shapes so they don't come apart now. It's a lot easier to create the map here than it is in UDK, for me anyway. Oh, bugger. Alright, that's basically the map done. All I have to do now is grab all these faces and reverse the normals. Hopefully I can just import that now. The text string will be a bit stuffed up, but I don't care about that. There it is. So out we go. Oh, <laughs> wrong map. Okay, there's the crappy hexagon. I'm not sure. It's pretty tiny. Stop being added for some reason. It won't add it to the scene. What's wrong with it? 
Okay, this is not loaded. Weird, why isn't it loaded? Fully load, why not? Maybe if I import it to this one instead. That's weird. Just because it's in this, it won't work. Alright, well, anyway, that's why I use my other package. I thought I'd try this because someone mentioned that you can do it in here. But I'll just stick to my other packages. So, here is my mesh, my tiny, tiny mesh. I think we should make him a bit bigger. But first, I'll chuck him into the right position. Where is he? Should be down here somewhere. Where are you, tiny mesh? Oh, here you are. Okay, let's make you big. I'll try and measure it up as much as I can because this is a good map size. Yeah, that works. Oh, it's a bit high. We'll see if collisions work first. It looks like they're all going to work. There's no issues so far. As in, it looks like they're going to somewhat work, sorry. Not all going to work. Oops. <laughs> uh, fizz. There we go. Oh, oops, this is subtractive. Okay, that's saved, that's good. Um, what else do I have to do? Do I have to edit it here? Yep. Let's see what happens. So, just so you know, my workflow is that I've figured out that I can't just make the mesh in UDK, so I've tried making it somewhere else and seeing if that works. So if it still doesn't work, then it'll be very annoying, but I'll have to deal with it and not make a hexagon in internal map. And I have to make it out of separate brushes, I suppose. Um, I believe. I have faith. Fuck. Oh well, so it looks like the same thing's happened again. See how I can bounce in it this way? So with my wheels, it's mostly fine. But as soon as I turn over... Oh! That worked a bit better, actually. So where did the issue come from? It would have been when I hit something. Maybe it was... Uh, I must have hit a... corner vertice or something. Alright, next test. Let's see what happens to the ball. There you go, so I fell through. So that must be to do with hitting it a certain way. As you can tell, I'm very good at the game.
So hitting the walls at a certain speed doesn't seem to work. Well the ball's working so that's a start. I haven't actually been able to test the goal because I'm not actually good enough to get it in there. It's not rolling very well. Well, if I could air dribble, this would be a different story, but I'm very bad, so I can't. Maybe there's a different way of doing it, but I'm gonna have to make the small map smaller because I'm bad. Ah. Bonk. Well, anyway, this collision's working a lot better now. Sticky walls. Alright, since it's straight up, I'm having a bit of issues with sticky walls. But I think I can fix that if I make the walls not straight up. But first off, let's see what happens if I do this. Alright. Not sure. It might be because it's the nose of the car. Alright, let's see what happens now. Oh, really? Oh, I still pulled through. Very weird. Oh. Whoa. So, Rocket League actually had this issue. I'm not sure how they got around it, but they fixed it. So, I'd like to see what they did. Unfortunately, they're not very accommodating. Well, I suppose I haven't actually asked. Never know till I ask. In the meantime, I'll have to make the map smaller and bring goals down a bit. Maybe it's more a thing about making the sides a bit more large. Because I personally thought this was a pretty cool idea for a map, but it might just be that I'm really bad. But I'm not sure how many people would actually be able to do this map properly. I can't even get it past here because of the slope and because I'm bad. Maybe I'll make that middle platform the goal and make this a short... Yeah, I might do that. I'm going to make this map... Oh, cool. I'm going to make it fast-paced. So, that's what's, that's what I'm going to do in the next tutorial. Video.